Welcome back sa ating epi-page na free reviewers managed by Luna Lin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Luna Lin. Now, let's do fractions. Mag-multiply tayo. Division, multiplication ulit. Division ulit. So, anyway, let's do number one. Sa multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator. This is 12. Denominator to denominator. And this is 72. Si 12 over 72 ay kailangan natin yang simplify by finding the greatest common factor. Para sa detali kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor, pwede yung search at idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding dito. So ano ba ang greatest common factor dito sa 12 over 72. 12, a greatest common factor natin dyan. 12 divided by 12, and that is 1. 72 divided by 12, and this is 6. So, therefore, ang pinaka sagot dito, simplified na sagot, ay 1, 6. Now, para hindi na tayo dyan sa mga malalaki mga numbers, kung paano ba hanapin yung greatest common factor, pwede naman kasing ganito. Yung 3 over 8 na i-multiply sa 4 over 9, ganito tayo. Yung 4 over 8, or pwede namang si 8, i-divide natin ng 4, that will give us 2. 2 ang nasa baba, so yung nasa taas ay 1. In other words, hanapan pa rin ng greatest common factor, which is 4, pero mas madali na siyang hanapan. Kasi, 8 at 4 lang din naman yan siya. So, 4 divided by 4, and this is 1. So, magiging 1 na ito. 8 divided by 4, and this is 2. So, ito ay magiging 2. While ito namang 3 over 9, pwedeng ganito. Yung 9 divided by 3, and this is 3. In other words, si 3 over 9, di ba? Ito ang 3 over 9. C3 over 9, hanapan lang natin ang greatest common factor, which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3, and this is 1. 1 na yan siya. 9 divided by 3, and this is 3. So, ito lang ang i-multiply natin. Lahat ng mga numerator, and that is 1. 2 times 3, and this is 6. So, 1, 6. Next, division of fraction. So, division of fraction, kopyahin lang si 3 over 8. Ang division maging multiplication. Reciprocal nito, ibig sabihin, baliktaran lang natin yan. Ibaliktad lang natin yan. Now, pwede tayo mag-proceed. 3 times 9, and this is 27. Uh, 8 times 4, and this is 32. Siguro hindi na natin ito masimplify, no? Ano pa bang... Greatest common factor natin dito. 1 lang yata. So, otherwise, ito lang yung final answer natin. Pakicomment na lang kung meron pa ba. 1, 2, 3, wala na. Wala na yata. So, next number, letter C. Multiplication of fraction. Now, sa multiplication of fraction, di ba, numerator to numerator. This is 315. Masyado na malaki yung mga numbers. 9 times 12. And this is... Uh, 84. So, isimplify lang natin yan. Unang-una, pwede natin hanapan ng greatest common factor bago tayo mag-divide kasi ito ay improper fraction. So, ang greatest common factor dito ay 21, which is 315 divided by 21, this is 15. 84 divided by 21, this is 4. And then, isimplify natin ito. 15 divided by... 4, ilang 4 sa 15, we have uh, 3. 3 times 4, this is 12. 15 minus 12, and this is 3. So, ang whole number natin ay 3. Yung numerator ay 3. Tapos, kopyahin lang yung 4 na denominator. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 and 3 fourth. Pero, bakit pa natin yan pahirapan ang sarili natin kung pwede naman ganito? 21 divided by 7. This is 3. Si 15 at saka si 12, ang greatest common factor dito ay 3. 
15 divided by 3 and that is 5. 12 divided by 3 and this is 4. So, pwede na tayo mag-proceed. 5 times 3 and this is 15. Yung denominator natin, kasi ito ay 1 na. So, this is 4. Now, 15 over 4 or 15 divided by 4, pariho lang din dito. So, this is equal to 3 and 3 fourth. Next, division ulit tayo. Sa division of fraction, kopyahin itong 21 over 7. Ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal nito ay 2 over 3. Now, para mas madali. Now, sa multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Pero, bakit natin gagawin yan? Kung itong 21 over 3, this is equal to 3. Kopyahin na lang natin muna yung iba. Now, ngayon, instead na 21 over 7 times 2 third, we have 3 times 2 third. Kasi itong 21 over 7, that is equal to 3. Laging tandaan sa multiplication of fractions, di ba, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Yung whole number natin na 3, meron yung automatic na 1 na denominator. Automatic yan siya. Lahat mga whole numbers. Now, yung numerator natin na 3 at denominator natin na 3, cancel natin yan. So, ang natitira na lang ay 2. Ma'am, paano yung 1? Remember, lahat ng mga whole number may automatic na 1 na denominator. Kaya ang sagot dito ay itong 2. Thank you for watching and all I hope na meron kayo nat natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.